26 November 2020, 6.18pm, oh, let me, <laughs> let me do another thing, so I've been thinking about like, uh, what job should I do, like what job, <laughs> I don't know, I'm in a very strange mood. Oh, this is a <clears throat> this is a place I found. I was watching a, a video and YouTube, and they they mentioned these. No, no, no! I actually found it. Oh my goodness! What is it called? Port. Okay, I was seeing a YouTube video, sixty minutes on uh, Salt Salt Creek. That's right, Salt Creek. It was like this backpacker <laughs> yeah, thing where this guy was trying to miss. Yeah, Salt Creek. Salt Creek attack. Roman Hines. There was a 16 minute. Uh, I saw the longer one. Maybe I'll link that below. But anyway, so I was watching this and I thought, hmm. I don't know why I, I do the, I search for it, but you know, so this is Salt Creek. It's like this is where you know the incident happened. You know, right in, you know on the beach, and then the this is the you know the sand and anyway. So I was searching for what is this? Tatiara water. What is this? It's white stuff over here. Pipe clay lake. It's not a war suit. Anyway, so I was looking at this and I was like, oh, what is. Wait a minute. Places to rent. Oh, yes, that's right. I was going around here and I was hmm, where are places to rent? <laughs> Ah, this is the one. So I was looking here and I found this place called Port Lincoln. Port Lincoln, look, they got lots of places. And some of the places here are so cheap. Look, $190 for it. Hit $210. See? Let's go by the list. Like if I go to the cheapest, a hundred and eighty, hundred and eighty dollars per week, you get a, you get this unit. This is all right. Look at it, one hundred and eighty dollars a week. This is one hundred and ninety. It's like two bedroom. Oh, what time is this? This is two hundred. This is a house. This is actually a three bedroom house. $200 a week, so I was saying, oh man, this is actually quite affordable, look at this, it's got a wooden floor, chimney, whatever, yeah, so, so look at that, it's like $200 a week for a three bedroom house, affordable family home. Oh, that's negotiable. We're talking about it. I think that's negotiable even. Uh, is it 210? Look at that. That's another three bedroom. It's like a duplex semi detached. I guess it's uh, joined to another. It is two bedroom. These are houses, you see. This is a semi duplex thing. Look at this. These are like less than 250. Look at this, another three bedroom. This is, a, this is another three bedroom. Look. look at this one. And this one's another duplex, same house. So I was looking, oh wow, these are actually quite cheap. Uh, this one's 235. I was like, oh, why did it go to 235? But maybe a big house. Well, I don't need that much space. So, like, for less than 250 I can basically, 
So these are units. Wait a minute. Is that close to the beach? Yeah, you can see the beach from here. <sighs> anyway, so as you can see, it's like a. So I was thinking, wow, this is a nice place to rent. I might, I might think about renting here. You see, it's, it's close to the beach, you know? It's close to the beach. And uh, let's see this one. Oh, it's 310. Oh, look, this is 150. It's like so close to the beach. Practically, like. I don't know if you would call this the beach, but maybe, I don't know, what does it look like? Yeah, actually, it is kind of like a beach. I, I've seen some YouTube videos on it. Like, uh, you guys can search for it. Do I need to link every video? It's like, oh. <laughs> so that's the place I was looking at. Port Lincoln. South Australia. <sighs> So anyway, I've been thinking about like um, the, like um, uh, how to become a automotive or motor mechanic. I think like hey, this is like a job I could. I'm thinking of like I've been seeing like videos about it. Like block. This is the where is this a job outlook? So I'm seeing. So I've been watching YouTube videos about it and also like, why is that thing blowing away? This is like a collection issue. Oh no, it's like something. Uh, you can see YouTube videos on it, oh, whatever. So I, I'm going to try and get in like an apprenticeship. But... Uh, I was saying, it's being a motor mechanic is like, it's very interesting because it's like, you're actually dealing with the physical stuff. It's not like computer programming or something where it's like, oh, you don't see the, like, the code, like, that's like a intellectual thing. It's representation in the physical world is electricity, right? That code is represented as electricity. Uh... Anyway, so this is, this is uh, like uh, you know. See, this one certificate one is like vocational preparation, right? So, like, if you have, if you don't have, like, uh, this. This is a sort of like if you have no, it's like fully subsidized, so I don't have to pay for the overlay there. Uh, but the actual thing is like, a, you know, yeah, certificate three in light vehicle, vehicle, make, let's go back. A certificate three. It can even be heavy commercial. But this is like sort of like it gives you some experience the thing is if I go into actually let's say if it's it's three years ugh, I don't know why if I go to entry requirements right it says say, y y if you're an apprentice you can do this course but if you're a non-apprentice to be eligible for a subsidized place in this course as a non-apprentice you must be over 21 years of age okay that Okay. Provide evidence such as a resume or letter of support from your employer of significant and current industry experience. Your workplace evidence will be reviewed prior to course entry to make sure you, your skills and knowledge meet course requirements. So I need to be like, I don't get it. Like, uh, what's the difference? If you're an apprentice, the basic thing you have to like be in the working. So I think if there are gaps in your industry experience, you will need to complete simulated work activities to ensure you are able to meet work evidence requirements. So I have to have work evidence that I don't have that, you see? I don't have that. See, non-apprentices will need to be in either relevant employment, no, I'm not there, 
or have access to appropriate simulated workplace environments to complete the learning and assessment requirement. Huh? Simulated workplace environments? Like having a car or <laughs> a tool? This is goes right for you. To be prepared for this course, it is recommended that you have the ability to plan and organize the steps in your The physical capability to work as a motor mechanic. If you need help preparing for study, contact us about your options. What does that mean? What does that mean? Like you're <laughs> what? What does that mean? I mean, like, are they saying, like, you have to be physically strong? Is that like a, like, do if women, like, apply, is like, are they going to be like, no, you can't work as a mechanic because, I don't know, that just seems like a problematic thing. It's like, I don't know if I would agree with this statement. You know? what, is the, what is the level of physical capability? What are they, what are they talking about? Is this is a way to exclude women, like it's a uh, indirect way. Is this a discrimination? Uh, I, don't know. I don't like this. <laughs> uh, motor mechanical light vehicles, and these are the units. Like I would like to do, but if you can't do that, there is something called a pre-apprenticeship. Pre-apprenticeship. like pathway to an apprenticeship it's gonna if you aren't sure if you want to commit to a full apprenticeship or traineeship you can undertake a pre-apprenticeship introductory unit these units uh, are fee free and so you know go to I've been doing research like automotive. Wait, I already did that. Uh, well, I haven't done any of that, but I'm just doing the like the preparation. So that's first one is preparation. So if I click on that, so I have to basically call. You know, you have to be over fifteen and live or work in the other Okay, I'm just. Uh, permit resident or uh, no longer be in school or equal to home schools in it or home school to the other okay uh, so I have to call this person who because they're in Parramatta so I have to like I want to do a pre-apprenticeship but I can't I don't want to do anything now because I want to first focus on moving uh, so. and another thing is that I was like thinking the other day <laughs> uh, should I be an accountant? <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, what do you call it? No, um, accounting is very different from being a mechanic. I was thinking like, you know, I, mean, I didn't know what I would do. And, you know, I was thinking about like money. And it's like, you know, like maybe this is something. Because this course, I can actually do it online, you see. This course. I can en enroll anytime. If you can enroll, you can do it online. It's like one and a half years, and it's like, you know, there are no entry requirements, and I would not have to pay any fee uh, because uh, this is like subsidized. And um, so this is another potential way to do something. But I don't know if I want to be. Like I said, you do. I don't have to choose one career path. I can <laughs> do multiple things. But yeah, uh, what's this? Oh yeah, that's the course I'm looking at. Mm. All right. Motor mechanics maintain. Uh, You usually need a certificate three in light or heavy vehicle mechanical technology or another related field to work as a motor mechanic. You know, 
These courses are often completed as part of an apprenticeship. See? So that, that is the one. That is the certificate three in light vehicle or motor motorcycle or heavy commercial vehicle. So uh, either one, one of these things. Uh, I feel like this is something you can do as well or you know, this is a thing. But you need to be in a like working in the thing or maybe this is a way to get there or <laughs> <laughs> or I could try accounting online. But anyway, I've been just sort of thinking about what do I, you know, stuff like this. So. <coughs> yeah, South Australia seems like it seems like the uh, houses are like cheap. In it. You know, the property is cheaper than Sydney, obviously. Let's, uh, for instance, South Australia. Let's go to the whole of South Australia. Uh, let's update this. There are only 2,571. Come on, man, that is, that's, that's not true, right? One dollar per week. <laughs> uh, this is like a... Okay, now we get to the actual... Hundred dollars per week? What is this? Oh, it's like a small thing, unit type thing. Kuba Petty, isn't that like in New South Wales? We actually know some of these names. <laughs> Shower is good. You know, forget that one. Ugh. Yes, but uh, let's go to Adelaide because it's a capital, right? Sewer uh, River 12. No, this is a shared house. So this is an Adelaide, like, in the city, so this is different. Uh. No, I don't want these things. Okay, Adelaide is... Uh, why am I getting the same thing? This is so annoying. Hmm. Is this seems like an actual um, apartment? Yes. Uh, is this like for one person? I think this is for one. So this is a staircase, right? But it was like a kitchen. Okay. Oh, it's just like, oh, forget it. Forget Adelaide. Things are a bit more expensive there. Anyway, um, uh, what is this? Uh, what's this? Ugh.
from this, let me see. Four bedroom family home container. This is like four bedroom, 250 a week. Oh, it's kind of a, <laughs> you know, let's see where, what kind of area they do. Oh, it's not that bad, it's like, uh, there's some greenery. What is, what is this? Why does it look like that? It's Oyster Bay. Ugh, anyway. Does this mean there are oysters in it? Where are they going? What is this? What is this? Wait a minute, what is this? Three bedroom. Alright, two fifty dollars. Oh, it's kind of nice. I mean, it looks kind of. Uh, well, it's got timber floors. Someone didn't do the photography right. This looks like a nice, uh, you know, place. Like. Uh, oh, I don't want to go back all the way there. Kiki Bay, <laughs> what a name, affordable home to rent, three bedroom home, see, I don't know why my internet is a bit, why is it slower, slower, But it seems like it's close to the water. Mm -hmm. What is another one there? Uh, it's close to the water, so that's the bonus, I think. Lincoln, yeah, that's the thing I'm thinking. It looks like a very nice kind of uh, like a nice housing area. And it's like this is this is more like an actual city where they actually have uh, you know actual. It's not like isolated. They they have you know a decent sized suburb and you know schools and you know Woolworths and things like that. So this is a place where you can actually live and you know. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> Living in an isolated place, but I have my uh, food needs. Okay, so uh -uh. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking like you know, uh, I'm thinking seriously, thinking of like I'm doing this um, mechanic thing, or I don't know about the accounting. I don't know if that's. I just feel like the mechanic thing is, seems more fun, like, you know, get my hands dirty, and uh, it seems more fun, um, you know, because I don't like doing a lot of, like, uh, even when I was a kid, I, I never really liked doing a lot of, like, reading and, uh, you know, all that stuff, but I like doing things like, uh, you know, with my hands and physical stuff, you know, um, so... That's how I, was, uh, how I was as a kid, and I I can read and write, but it's just like, uh, this feels like such a chore, I'd rather, like, do something, you know, like, the actual physical world, you know, 
And yeah, I think, let me just try. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. Keeping my options open. Yeah, it looks like a weird kind of a thing with this. It's like a wolf creek. It's a salt creek. Salt creek. Yeah, I didn't see these ones. The two when he saw, I saw the other one, which is like a 38 minute. Um, uh, this one. 